civil parish about five miles west of Malmesbury. The parish is bounded to the north by the county boundary of Gloucestershire and to the southeast by the Fosswayer Roman Road. The parish includes the hamlet of Easton Town, immediately east of Sherston, Pinckney, further east along the Malmesbury Road, and Willisley to the north. The infant River Avon passes Sherston, Easton Town, and Pinckney on its Hello, way to Hello, I'm John, and welcome to John's Box, my YouTube channel. And in today's edition of the Beauty of Wiltshire, we're going to be looking at the village of Shuston in Malmesbury. As it says here, part 7 of 10, Shuston near Malmesbury. We'll put that up. So, where exactly is Shuston? It's uh, in the north uh, west part of the county, northwest, quite close to Malmesbury, of course, and Chippenham and next to the other villages that we've already fe featured Sherston's here by the way namely we featured Grittleton and last time which was over seven months ago it was on the 18th of February that I published the video about Laycock so what about Sherston well it's a village approaching a population of 1,000 700 or 1,800 I don't know how much according to the last census plenty of history it's very very old indeed um, so this video will feature a lot of information about its history local government religious sites notable buildings schools amenities and we'll be ending with notable people so sit back and relax and enjoy what you see especially if you're from the Sherston, Chippenham and Malmesbury area. A Romano-British farmhouse from around 350 was discovered at Vanslet's farm, north of Sherston village. The earliest surviving record of Sherston, then called Scoronstone, is an Anglo-Saxon document of 896. In 1016, a battle between Knut the Great and a West Saxon army led by King Edmund Ironside on the hills around Sherston may have involved a local hero known as Rattlebone. His name is celebrated in a local pub, the Rattlebone Inn. The parish church was built or rebuilt in the 12th century, and at some point a borough was laid out south of the church with a broad market place where a weekly market was held from 1241 or earlier. In 1511 a fire destroyed most of the buildings. Later in that century Sherston had two inns, the Swan and the Angel. There was much rebuilding in the 17th century. Industry came to the village in 1872 when a silk mill was opened by Joseph Davenport and Sons, weaving silks and ribbons and later cotton. The mill Churston Software Makers of Educational Games was established in 1984 and continued in business in the village until 2015. Pinckney was also called Churston Parva, meaning Little Churston. The Ordnance Survey map from the 1890s as Great Sherston and Sherston Parva or Pinckney. By 1951, Great Sherston had become Sherston, but both names were still shown for the smaller place. The civil parish elects a parish council. It is in the area of Wiltshire County Unitary Authority, which performs most significant local government functions. An electoral ward with the same name exists, consisting of the parishes of Luckington, Sherston, Sopworth, Eastern Grey Norton, St. Paul Malmesbury Without, and Brokenborough. The population of the ward at the 2011 census was almost 4,900 persons. The 
The Church of England Parish Church, the Grade 1 listed Church of the Holy Cross, dates from the 12th century and has a high tower which was rebuilt in 1733. Nikolaus Bevsner called the church impressive in his Buildings of England volume. A congregational church was licensed at Cliff Road in 1825. It remained in use until 2013 and was sold for residential use. A primitive Methodist chapel was opened at Grove Lane in 1851 and became Sherston Methodist Church in 1932 after the union of the primitive Methodists with the Wesleyan Methodists. The church is Sherston Village has two groups of grade two listed buildings. On the high street, Old Swan House and numbers 19 and 21 comprise the former Swan Inn from the late 16th century. Other listed buildings on the high street include the former Angel Hotel, which has a 16th century core and a twin gabled edition of 1648. In the north of the parish, Willisley House is probably a medieval hall built in 1583 and refronted in the late 17th century or early 18th. Members of the Congregational Chapel built a British school room at Cliff Road in 1844. Its pupils were transferred to the National School in 1895 and the building has served various community purposes. The National School was opened near the Rattlebone Inn in 1846. It became a Church of England school and was extended in 1895. Children of all ages were educated until 1954 when it became a junior school. Growth in pupil members led to the building of a new school on the outskirts of the village, which was opened in 2005. The old school was bought by the parish council in 2011 and is home to shops and businesses, including the post office stores. Lay by my side. Every year on the Saturday closest to 14th July, a carnival is held. The main attraction is a bulls tournament and a music evening with local bands. Sherston has a football team, a cricket team and a scout troop. The village has a shop, a post office, a hotel restaurant and two pubs, namely the Rattlebone Inn and the Carpenter's Arms. George Strong, 1833 to 1888, an agricultural worker who was awarded the Victoria Cross for bravery during the Crimean War, settled in Sherston after the war and is buried in an unmarked grave in the churchyard. In the 1970s and 1980s, Sherston was the home of eccentric socialite Lady Edith Foxwell and her friend, the soul singer Marvin Gaye, was a frequent visitor. Until his death in 2002, the actor John Thor lived nearby with his wife, the actress Sheila Hancock. That's it for another edition of The Beauty of Wiltshire. I'll be back shortly, shortly, not seven months, but hopefully in the next two or three weeks for part eight of ten. Hopefully we'll be able to finish the whole thing this year or early next year before we move on to something new. Don't forget to do all your usual YouTube stuff. Comment, particularly if you're from Sherston uh, and the area, because the best content, of course, um, is what you comment on. And thank you for sticking to the end. In the next edition, it will be the village of Ramsbury in the northeast part of the county, just below uh, Swindon and quite close to Wooten Rivers. That's it then. Thank you very much for sticking to the end and I'll see you in another video in the not too distant future. Bye for now.